Hello, welcome. My name is David Wallowidnik here at BC Liquor. I want to make for you something that I call the Madame Boulevardier. A Boulevardier is one of the many variations of a classic Negroni by using bourbon instead of gin. Well, the Madame Boulevardier is a delightful little wintry twist on a classic Boulevardier by using sherry instead of red vermouth. So we're going to be using a little bit of bullet bourbon today, along with Campari, followed by that nutty Oloroso sherry. The sherry is going to add a wonderful little expression of walnut and almond, followed by a dried fruit character. All of this sweetness is going to be balanced out by the complex bitterness of Campari. Well, let's show you how to make one. All right, well, we're going to start off with the bourbon. Now, if you look at a classic Negroni, it's equal parts, equal parts of gin, vermouth, and Campari. Well, a Boulevardier differs slightly by having a slightly higher percentage of the spirit. In this case, we'll use 45 mils, which is an ounce and a half of the bourbon. To complement that, one ounce of the Campari, and we'll follow that with one ounce of the Nutty Oloroso. For those talking milliliters, that's 30 mils of each. And as I said, the Nutty Oloroso Sherry. Just like that. As you can see by the mixing glass, it's a stirred cocktail. So let's add a little bit of ice to that mixing glass. The thing about ice, if you're stirring, you only need as much ice as going to stay in contact with the liquid. Anything more than that, it's not really doing anything. So keep the ice in contact there. Give it a nice stir. We're not only chilling, but we're also diluting. Now in a perfect setting, take your cocktail glass, pop it in the freezer for about five minutes. It will serve wonders. If you pour a cold cocktail into a cold glass, it will keep its chill. And at that point, it's gonna steal less thermal energy from the new ice that will be in that cocktail glass. It's like so. Let's take a cocktail glass, move this to the side just for a second here, and we'll load that up with some new ice cubes. So we're gonna pretend like that glass has just come from the freezer today. And another one for good measure there. There we go. Now, to take a strainer of some sort, pouring that right over top of those new ice cubes. And the only thing left to do now is garnish. This one, we're going to garnish with a lemon peel. A Negroni is often garnished with an orange peel and that works wonderfully. You could use an orange in this one as well, but I think the brightness of the lemon really complements that base spirit of bourbon. So let's take a nice swath of lemon peel right off the side there. And as you've probably seen me do before in videos, I'm going to slice off the pith. You could use a vegetable peeler for this process if you wish. The reason I don't is because as it goes through that vegetable peeler, it actually bends the zest and expresses some of those oils out there before you're ready to express them. Cut it into a nice decorative shape. As long as it looks like there's intention to your garnish, that's really what we're looking for. Cut a slice in it so that I can then express the zest over the surface. Give it a little twist and set it right on the edge of the glass, just like that. And that, my friends, is a Madame Boulevardier. My name's David, here at BC Liquor. I look forward to seeing you again real soon.